So we're in a uh, cardboard dome, and in the middle of the dome there's an omnidirectional projector. And with the projector is a uh, camera, and the camera can basically sense our hand gestures over the projector. And so right now what we're looking at is uh, worldwide telescope data. We're looking at a 3D model of the solar system. And then as I gesture over the, over the projector, I can move the view. And so what we're doing here is actually we're trying to explore different uh, modes of interaction that make sense for omnidirectional and 3D data. And what we'd like to do is to uh, take some of the interactions that have been uh, successful with Surface and bring them into uh, this omnidirectional setting. And so we can um, pull the view and pan around uh, this 3D data. But the way that we zoom is, is kind of familiar to uh, multi-touch users of Surface, for example. So if I have two contacts, or make uh, use two hands, I can move in and out of the view. We're driving the Worldwide Telescope program, and we can move the view with our hands. And the way we're doing that is we're uh, doing some simple image processing uh, on an image produced by a camera that's embedded with a projector. So we can do, we can basically grab the view, grab the sky, and move around. So we're looking at the 3D solar system model provided by Worldwide Telescope. And we can also zoom in using some standard surface-like multi-touch gestures. A couple other things we can do here. If I make a special gesture over the projector, we can then uh, uh, give it a speech command. Saturn. So it's now taking us to Saturn, and then we can even move in on the rings of Saturn, get a nice view of what's going on there. And then we can zoom out, and of course Worldwide Telescope has a uh, very nice model of all the stars, and even galaxies, so we can keep zooming out, zooming out, and we get this, uh, this nice effect. There's the Milky Way. Went through the Milky Way, and now we're, these are all galaxies. So the dome gives you a really nice immersive uh, feel, and we think that it's suited really for omnidirectional data and 3D data. So another uh, thing we can do with the Worldwide Telescope is we can show you the night sky. Crab Nebula. So this is true omnidirectional data, it's not a 3D model. It's a way of looking at imagery, uh, say, from the Hubble Space Telescope. This is the Crab Nebula. And again, we can move in and out and do the same kinds of gestures. And these gestures are familiar to uh, surface users. Uh, these are basically multi-touch gestures, and in fact, many of the techniques are similar. Let me show you a few other things that we can do. Snow globe demo. And this is just a fun uh, uh, little demo that shows you what it might be like if you were inside of a snow globe, and it gives you a nice 3D sense of what's going on. Graph demo. Here is a social networking graph, and so we're thinking about looking at different ways of manipulating 3D data and, and visualizing different kinds of information. So the idea might be that we, we can point and gesture. Um, if we have multiple people in the dome, we can relate to uh, this kind of data in, in an interesting way. And again, we're using the same kinds of gestures to, to move in and out of the space. Actually, I'd like to uh, show a couple of other panoramas. Telescope demo. So have to move back into a worldwide telescope. Building 99. So this is a panorama that's hosted in Worldwide Telescope. It's actually of uh, Building 99's lobby. So again, uh, the omnidirectional projector gives you uh, a wonderful sense of uh, immersion. Now right now we're doing these little hand gestures right over the projector. Eventually we'd like to uh, do more kinds of things. So if I want to uh, point directly at the display, theoretically we can do that because the camera, just like the projector, can see everywhere uh, in the dome above the equator line.